Hey, so we're doing a little bit of vlogging today. Um, it is it's like 11 o'clock and we're in the schoolroom already. Hold on, I gotta fix this strap. There we go. And we're kind of pretty grumpy. It's been a grumpy day. Grumpiness over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's been one of those days so far. It's cloudy. It's not pretty outside, and which is fine with me. But we are struggling with um, getting started with our schoolwork and having happy attitudes. So hopefully it gets better today, right? I hope so. So we're gonna work on our attitudes and try to um, turn this day around. Hmm. Found the head of one of the soldiers when they were looking for a spot to dig a water well. In the years since, the Chinese government built a museum that has allowed millions of tourists to visit the terracotta warriors. A few of the soldiers have even been exhibited outside of China. So, we're at, I'm like at a loss for what to do with history. We've been following the Ambleside, um, Child's History of the World, but the girls really aren't getting into it and they're not getting much from it. So I'm trying to think of another way to implement history and to do that. So I asked them what they wanted to do. And what did you say, Mia? China. She wants to do Chinese history. We're into China right now, where she is. So um, like right now, we're doing these books that I got on, I think, like free homeschool deals. Some I can't remember who it's. What is it? One, two, three, homeschool for me. So we're working our way through these books, kind of for geography and just getting... Um, learning about China and watching our videos, which I showed earlier, us watching, like, today we watched Terracotta Warriors, which is pretty cool since, um, our art museum in our city, Richmond, is, um, has the Terracotta Warriors, so maybe we can go see them. If I can find some time. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. She's so playing with magnet balls. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'm struggling with what to do with history, so I've got this Usborne world history book and I think what I'm going to do for China we, I just thought of this today so it's right off I'm not sure how this will work um like I can look up China in the back hold on girls can you be quiet for a minute I can look up China in the back and it tells me what pages talk about China so let's see 86 164 169 is the first real page. So I think I'm just going to go through this and use this book. Whoa. And maybe I'll look at the library to see if they have any Chinese history books, which I'm pretty sure, I don't they might have one or two books, but you don't have like a humongous Good library. One. So yeah, we'll start with the people of early China and just work our way and think we're going to make these into our history books. So I got these at Walmart for like 88 cents. So I think they're going to um, get them to decorate the first page and say China history and then do like a timeline of sorts and then whatever history they want to work on next or whatever country, Look then they can do that. And that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see how it works. Hopefully it sounds like it would work. Cool. Cool, Mia. Sounds like uh, in my mind it works, but we shall see. After lunch, I'm hoping to clean out the refrigerator, but I don't know if I'll have enough time, and I'm trying to clean out my sink. I'm going to show you. My sink dishes are like the worst, especially with all these people in the house. So, yeah, look at my dishes. Full, and then like cleaning out this, we have like the, oh, here we see. This, this tiny little side where I put our clean dishes at to dry. And so I'm cleaning that out. I've got bleach. Um, just sitting in some water over there before I clean it out. And so I can wash some of those dishes, like my crock pot and all that stuff that we used last night, and try to dry them so I can put them away. And I also want to clean out my refrigerator. So, yeah. So they just ate lunch. They had peanut butter. Oh, no. Yeah, they had peanut butter jellies. And some fruit. And some animal crackers. She's still eating. And there's the other two playing with their balls. Magnetic balls. Hey, let's not put the magnets on the laptop. Okay? Excellent. I, don't, I have a feeling that that's not good. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at inside. Whoa. We've ate lunch. I am. Um, I finally cleaned up this sink. Clean that one. 
washed all these big dishes, the pots and pans, and crock pot. Crock pot, not crock pot. And um, put what I could in the dishwasher. And then I cleaned my sink. Let me turn around. Alright, so my sink is nice and clean. Got those drying, and the rest of the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. And now I set up my YouTube while I'm doing this on there. I need to take this AC out since it's December, at least for a little while. And need to clean the rest of my counter up, and hopefully wipe down the back, um, the refrigerator. That's what it is. I still struggle hardcore doing housework. Like, I mean, I, I've been staying home for on my second second year of staying at home. And that's just, I cannot keep up with her housework. And so I'm reading right now um, Sink Reflections by, um, I know, it's the Fly Lady Method. I got that from the library. Ooh, this. And so I'm reading this, and I'm trying to um, find some kind of order for my housework. Because... I don't have any system. It's just whatever can get done that day gets done, which is kind of, it's okay, but it's just not working for me to do it like that. Like, I need some kind of system because I'm not getting to what I need to get done because I'm still just cleaning up the dirty dishes, the dirty clothes, and just trying to figure out a time to mop the floor or something. Like, I'm not getting to the, um, the rest of the stuff. And so it just, my house looks so dirty to me because I'm just work, focusing on those three things. So I need a system, and I'm thinking about you trying to do that. And, uh, yeah. So, and I tried doing the laundry, like sticking, doing one load a day, and sticking it in the dryer, and then putting another load in the washer, and that's it for the day. And the next day, folding what's in the dryer, and sticking another load, and switching. But I just can't do that. I just, I'm not... I don't know. I don't know. That just doesn't work for us too well. So, I need to figure out another laundry system. Folding clothes. That's what really gets me. It's just taking the time. It takes me forever to fold my clothes. And, yeah. So, if you have any suggestions of how do you do keep up with laundry and housework, leave it below because I definitely need all the help I can get. Ooh, I got scarf some face. We're headed out to take me at to her writing lesson. And her writing lesson is about um, 45 minutes away. And so, yeah, we have to leave a little early. Earlier than we're used to. And I get everybody's jackets because it's chilly out. And they're in the van already um, without jackets on. Yeah. Now I'm just going through the house and I make sure all the lights are cut off. Uh, the dryer's cut off. Ooh, get close up. Uh, yeah, and I think I'm going to leave the doggy door open. My, our dogs, um, have been doing pretty good with the doggy door open. So I'm leaving that open, hopefully, because last time I closed it, our dog ate our blow-up mini mouse that we have for our Christmas decorations. Man, I recorded, like, so much on my nice camera and realized that the battery died, and so I didn't record any of it. <laughs> So I'm going to try this again with my iPhone, which I hate it when people drive by and I'm talking to myself. Uh, me, it's in our writing lesson. So we are just sitting in the van. It's just me and the two little ones. Uh, so while she does her lesson and I don't know if I'll be able to get footage of it now that my battery is dead. It's kind of puts a damper on my day in the life. <laughs> so. Um, we'll see how long my phone lasts, uh, or how much storage I have on my phone, which is probably not much, so I'm going to talk fast. So, I was talking on my other, what I talked to for like five minutes by myself, but, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I was talking about, uh, just the struggles of homeschool, and what we're going through right now, and Miette is really fighting me on some schoolwork, and she acts like... She wouldn't be doing this at, I'm like, at public school, you would be doing this. So, I don't know why it's a surprise that we have to do schoolwork on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And really, one of those days, we usually don't do schoolwork. It happens, something happens. 
and um, we don't do schoolwork. Sorry, I keep looking behind because she's doing the lesson right there. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, and it's not even hard. We do maybe an hour, maybe two hours of schoolwork. If she, I, it's easy, it's nothing hard that she can't handle. And it's not really challenging enough for her that I think, I mean, she doesn't have to think too hard. Like copy work, she fights me on. She hates anything with that has to do with her hands. She hates drawing. She hates coloring. She hates cutting. She hates writing. She so. Other than that, I'm like, what? What is her like media? I don't know what is her joy. What brings her joy? What can I do for her that would she would like to do? Like instead of illustrations and um. I mean, copy work, she's going to do copy work because that's how we do our writing and our grammar now. We got rid of all the, um, I stopped doing the spelling work out and now we just do copy work and then we go through it and talk about verbs and adverbs, and adjectives, um, and then we go through spelling through her, um, not even copy work, but just if she writes a story or something or a journal entry. And uh, so yeah, that's a non-negotiable, but I kind of want to find something that she likes to do for... Um, her narration and for illustration or I mean she doesn't like painting she doesn't nothing I don't know so coloring pages she fights me on drawing she fights me on and I don't know what else to try for her uh, I mean to me that sounds awesome I'd love to be able to color <laughs> she that's just hell for her uh, yeah so I'm going through that right now of trying, and as I want to make it fun, I want it to be, um, enjoyable for her, but it's just not. She just wants to go to public school and she stopped talking about going to public school, but she's still, I'm like, if you were at public school, you'd be doing way more than this. But anyway, uh, but I still do want to find that little thing that she likes to do. So I've asked her at the beginning of the week, before we go to the library, I'm like, what do you want to learn about? Like I said, she wants to learn about China. Um, she picked snakes for science. She wants to learn about snakes. So we did that. She did not like doing that, which I didn't think she was going to like that. But we learned about snakes and we talked about snakes and researched snakes. And yeah, so we're going to do the China and China history. So I asked her too, what kind of history she wanted to do. And so it was China his Chinese history, which I knew nothing of. I knew nothing about China history. So... We're going to wing it. And so I'm trying to give her some options to maybe, um, so she can enjoy it. And so, yeah. Kenzie, on the other hand, let me show you. She's back there too. <laughs> she is doing great with her kindergarten work. She really is enjoying the math you see now that she's doing addition. You like adding, right? Yeah, she likes adding. And, which is a relief of, um, so she hasn't really been struggling at all. She's learning to read. She's starting to really put the sounds together and understand it and enjoy it. As she fights me on the how to teach your kid child to read 100 easy lessons. Oh, that's a mouthful. She fights me on that, but she doesn't fight me on good and beautiful. So uh, we do, we go back and forth every other day. We do either 100 lessons or good and beautiful, level K. So, but she enjoys the level K. So I think... I don't know. I don't know if I should just scratch the 100 lessons. She likes the layout of the level K. And we do some of it on the computer because I don't want to print out the art. So we look at it on the computer and she sits in my lap. So she might enjoy that part. And um, we do Matthew C. Primer. And she's enjoying that now that it's adding. She didn't like all the repetitiveness. Is that the word? Repetitiveness? The beginning. But now she's enjoying it. And what else do you do? You do your sight word, flashcards. Um, what else do you do for schoolwork? And then she will do some handwriting through Good and Beautiful. And she also listens to our science and history. And math. Huh? Math. Yeah, you, I talked about math. What else do you do? Is there any more? Maybe not. No, that might be it. And some of the MoFat Girl worksheets that I throw in there, like sight word worksheets. Mm -hmm. princess book is oh her fun school in journal she enjoys that so she likes to color she likes to draw she likes to cut and craft and all that fun stuff so I don't have to worry about that with her she's completely different learning style than Miette so she enjoys all that but with Miette she doesn't like it so I have to like I said I 
want to find, I don't know what else, I don't know what else there is besides that. I don't know. So, if you have any suggestions for that, leave it, because I don't know. I'm, the, I'm asking y'all a lot. <laughs> like, I need help with housework, I need help with homeschool, I need, I need so much help. It, it's been a rough day. <laughs> It's after lesson and we are headed where we're at my parents house and just checking on the horses and I like to try to get up here three four days a week four days of the week so um, yeah I'll show you can I turn this camera around mm, maybe not there's the ponies they're eating hey Joe have your dinner eating some hay this is little Avon oh that's a good girl it's a wet day today. Wet and yucky in this rosy room. Hey, Miss Roo Roo. Hey, Miss Roo. She was like, oh, I'm not messing with you. <laughs> so, right now they're unblanketed, but I am one of those people who are going to put blankets on my horses. So it's supposed to drop to, um, to the 20s on Friday. So on Friday, we'll come up here and put blankets on them. See you in nice and comfy. Yep. It's trying to go up, Okay, yeah. Man, Mackenzie, trying to go up. Huh? Can you try this for dinner? Can't have chocolate for dinner. <laughs> what? <laughs> we are going to put some dinner. Got some coconut oil. With some chicken tenders with um, this Weber roasted garlic and herb. And water for mac and cheese. <laughs> and that is just regular craft mac and cheese. Yeah, so it's six o'clock already, so I'm ready to get some. And I don't know what we're gonna do for vegetables. Mm. It smells. Yeah? It smells. So bad. Are those the hot stuff? I don't know what the hot stuff is. Uh -huh. No, no, it's not the hot stuff. Alright, dinner is done. I am going around picking up all the dishes and putting them in the dishwasher. Ooh, it's light. Um so yeah, we are doing our nighttime routine, which is pretty much, oh, so dark, <laughs> uh, cleaning up everything, and then I'm trying not to have dirty dishes. That's my goal. There's no dirty dishes in this creamer. My husband doesn't know how to throw stuff in the trash. He just leaves it on the counter. And the dogs are fed, and the girls are watching Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's our favorite movie. We could watch that all the time. And look what came in the mail today. My book of the month books. I got The English Wife, and then I had an extra credit. So I got Sourdough, which I heard. It looks, sounded interesting. So I'm gonna, can't wait, ooh, can't wait to try that out. Okay, it's bedtime. I'm so happy today. It is so good. He's playing with the magnet. <laughs> I've shared these like four times already on the vlog because the girls have been playing with them all day. So I've had them for like weeks. And they have not played with them until today. They wanted to fight over them all day today. <laughs> We've got a half tree. Got over here in the corner, so we just like switched this side so it would fit. And 
probably not the best spot since every time the dogs walk by, Cy wags his tail and knocks like five ornaments down each day. <laughs> Thank you. Here's the puppies.